One Stroke Rose on Shoes Acrylic Painting Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a pair of shoes that I painted with a technique called One Stroke. And if you guys have never heard of it, basically what you have is a very, a very flat brush and you have one color paint on one side of it and one color on the other side and you blend them on the brush and it creates a very simple two-tone painting technique. So that's what I use to make this little shoe design. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin and I have my brush prepped with white on one side of it and some burgundy paint on the other. And just go through and create your petals. If you guys aren't familiar with doing any run st one stroke painting and you want me to go through and do kind of a who's who on one stroke, I can definitely do that. And it's something that, it's a technique that I was very, I personally found it very easy to pick up on. And some people, it seems like some people either can do it or some people just can't. And I don't think it's that they can't. I think it's that they haven't learned the right little tips and tricks for it. So if you guys want to know any more about one stroke painting, please let me know in the comment section below and I can go through and do a more in-depth just on a how to on doing one stroke. So here's the first part of it. So I've got five petals going around for the start of my rose. And as you guys can see, it's all about angle of your brush as far as getting the petals to lay correctly. And doing that is much easier if you have the capability of moving your paper or the object that you're painting on. So for me to do this in a video and have to keep the shoe as straight and as still as possible so that it's easier for you guys to see what's going on is a little awkward. And so that, keep bearing that in mind, if you guys are planning on doing one stroke painting, know that you can move whatever it is that you're painting on so that that makes it so much easier. So I, after I have those first five petals done, then I'm going to add the little center circle petal, the ones that are all still wrapped up tight, right? Kind of go off to one angle. So do it at like 11 o'clock if you're looking at a clock or thinking of a clock, 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. And then I'm going to just kind of leave that be and let that dry for a second. And I'm going to move on to adding a few little rosebuds going around it. So to do the rosebuds, I'm going to start out with just that little kind of circle center shape and then add a few petals going around it. So that's a much easier, quicker little process to do. So then I added two above it, two above my initial rows. So there's the first and the second one. And then I added one that is down below it. So when I got this pair of shoes, I got it for $3 <laughs> on clearance. If you guys are ever wondering how I end up with all of these shoes that I paint, it's because I've got the, I purchased them when they are on an insane clearance deal or for some other reason and they're just a good enough a good enough deal that I feel like if I happen to mess them up I'm not going to be too upset about it because it wasn't a huge investment for the most part I do have one pair of shoes that I paid a little bit more for that I wanted to be that I saw and I just fell in love with and I knew they had to be a certain thing but for the most part I get some clearance shoes and I look at them and I think about them and I hold on to them for a while and think what do I want to paint on these but this pair in particular as soon as I saw them they just felt like kind of a a retro rose style that's just what I felt immediately so I actually knew what I was doing on these ones right away so after I've got those little rose buds going around it I'm then going to take and add the few final petals in my rose that is the bigger open one so I have those couple little skinny petals coming down and then after that I'm going to be doing some leaves so I have two shades of green on my brush a brighter green on the tip and then a darker green in the middle and using very short strokes, I'm going to be adding my little leaves. And sorry, my fat fingers are getting in the way. But just do your little strokes going down like that. And if it happens to go over the rose a little bit or one of the petals like mine did, you can always fix that up later with a bit more of whatever color your flower's paint was. So don't sweat it. Just keep going. Wait for it to dry and then fix it. So then you can go through and do those like so. Touch up that little bit in the middle that was missed. And then add just a touch of the green color down the center, the brighter green color. And then add a tiny little leaf on each side of your rose buds. Or like that one, I did three. So just add a couple little leaves on the bottom of each one to sort of finish that off. The bottoms of the roses tend to be a little bit rough looking until you finish them off. At least mine do. And some of that comes with practice. I don't do these roses very often, so... The more you do, the better they are, of course. And then add just a little stem for the rosebuds going towards that center main rose. And you can leave it like this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Or I decided to just kind of fill in the design here and there with a bit more of the burgundy. So I have just some 
little lines that I'm pulling in that are thicker on the end and then taper down to a very skinny little thin line towards the base of the line. And this is the same thing. Making these little lines is something that comes with practice and um, having the right brush is also a big, a big help. But keeping your brush clean, I think is one of the biggest tips. So I wash my brush constantly, not quite after every single line, but just about. And then I'm going to take some of the white and add just a couple dots here and there. Like I said, to fill in the design, I thought it looked a little sparse, so I wanted to sort of fill it out, make it look a bit more complete. But with any kind of a design like this, you can stop it at any point. If you're happy with the way it looks, don't worry about continuing to add stuff and mess it up. Just if you're happy with it, call it quits and then you're good. I also painted a couple roses on the heel of the shoe and that was it. I absolutely love the way these turned out. I think they're they're super cute and they're they go with so many different outfits with the flowers on them. So I hope you guys like them as much as I do and please check out my Facebook and Instagram accounts to see more of my art. I have all sorts of crazy stuff that I do all the time and I will see you in my next video. Bye!